Hello guys, welcome to day one of how to use Artivia Intelligent to build a church management system like this, alright? So some few days ago, I recorded a video where I show you guys the functionality of this application and what it does, alright? And most of you guys have shown a lot of interest and the, most of the requests I'm getting is that I should record a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to develop a similar system like this all right so i've taken it upon myself to do that for you guys all right so i'm going to record a playlist all right of uh, a series of videos to show you guys how to, how to use artificial intelligence to build a system like this all right so in the video i told you guys that i use ai to do this and all what i did was that I use prompting to achieve this results. All right, see. So we are going to set up our development environment. Then after that, we are going to proceed into the application. All right. But before we dive in, all right. Before we dive in, you guys have shown me a lot of love. All right, a lot of love. I can see a lot of comments over here. All right. But I want to respond to one or two comments over here. Then we proceed with the tutorial. All right. So this guy over here. All right. This guy over here said that Bruce. Be truthful to your viewers. Real AI can build something useful, but not detail like this. This application is not generated. All right. So this guy is saying that he knew AI can do something useful, but not the application I show you guys. So this guy literally is saying that uh, I am lying. I'm deceiving you guys because I didn't use artificial intelligence to build a system like this guys all right so this is what this guy is saying and we are going to see by the end of the tutorial if i am lying or he's lying we're going to see who's right all right all right there's no need for me to lie to you guys if i didn't use ai to do this i won't come and record a tutorial to lie to you guys all right so this is what this guy is saying and there are some people i don't even know and then, and then this guy also saying that on a content you can't build that with ai all right so these guys are saying that i cannot build this system i've done over here with ai all right so you're going to see all right you're going to see how we, how we, we go about it okay all right so these are the comments so i want to thank each and every one of you who leave a comment under the video i am much grateful for it thank you so much those who show love those who came for me those who came attack me thank you all guys for the comment you leave under the video and i really appreciate it all right so i'm going to s dive into the tutorial to look at how we can set up our development environment for our step-by-step -step tutorial all right so the first thing we are going to do is that this application you see over here all right have a front end and a back end okay you have a front end as you can see over here the element you see the clickable element you see over here are all front end designs and then we have the back end that is the logic okay where we store the database okay where we have a database where we store our church members names their details and then the logic that runs be behind it we call it a back end all right so this application have both the front end and the back end all right so we need to put up a, a development environment that will cater for these two all right so what we are going to do first is that uh, the first thing we are going to do here is to guys to go to this website over here just go to any browser of your choice and then type this word all right xamp for windows okay just type it like this this download xamp okay so this is a server we are going to since we are going to build this application locally on our system we need to have a development server that we can run the application that we can have a database inside all right so you guys should download this application here all right x and so you can download the first one over here it's around 144 megabyte okay you download it then this one have php uh, php version right so you can download this application because uh, what i use to develop the application is what i'm showing you guys so if you want to really follow along with this tutorial make sure you get this application downloaded all right so when you do you download this application just install it just straightforward all right so the next application i'm going to download again is i'm going to download the ai tool that is going to help us to uh, to program all right so the ai coding assistant so just type t r a e just type this one t r a d i d e just type and click inside like this one over here okay i don't know how it is being pronounced just click inside like this over here and then you download it for windows okay 
So we are going to download the Windows version over here. So the Windows setup over here. So just click on download over here. Okay, since I have I have it downloaded already, let me just stop it. I have it downloaded already, all right? So if you download it, okay, on your system, now let me walk you through the installation process. And then, then after that, we proceed. So this is the installation. So just click inside it. And then click uh, next. And then let's give it a location. Where do you want to install your application? Okay where you want to install it you leave it there so let me click next let me leave it here then let's click check uh, create desktop and then you click next and then you install the application okay so whilst we wait for the application to install let me walk you through this all right the ai now allow us to program we call them ai coding assistants okay this artificial intelligence system that they built and then it help us to code okay and we have a lot of them we have a lot of tools out there that can do similar job all right uh, and then so this one I'm showing right now is one of them and then we have another one called Winsa Okay, Winsa over here This one here is also another one of them But mind you uh, this tool is here over here is totally free to use okay, but these ones are not free They have a trial period that when you use And uh, then it when the credit is finished then you need to actually subscribe to get more credit to use but you can try it out okay when when you register it for the first time you can have some credit that you can play around with before it got finished okay so this one great tool that uh, it does a, a good job okay so when you go to the pricing over here when you go to the pricing over here you, you see that uh, we have two weeks trial okay then here they will give you 25 prompts credit a uh, per month okay so every month will credit you 25 prompts all right so uh, you just have to pay attention to it and then uh, we have another one to call kesa kesa all right kesa 2 is another one that you guys can also try it out okay you can also download and install it and you can also use so let's check the pricing for kesa this one too is AI coding assistant. This one they give you two. Uh, this one they give you two weeks trial, and then they give you uh, fifty slow requests and then two hundred completion. So all these two I'm showing you are coding assistant that we are going to use to program or to learn how to develop systems. Okay, all right. So we can use all this. You can you guys can try this out. So the one we are going to use today for this tutorial is this one, which is the free one we are going to use. Okay, so just install it. All right. So let me check. So my installation is complete. So just click on finish, and then uh, we are setting up. All right. So what I plan to do is that I'm going to record. I'm not going to make these tutorials very long, okay? I plan on recording them in 10, 10 minutes, either 10 or 15 minutes. Max will be 15 minutes, 10, 10 minutes, so that the tutorial will not be boring and it's not going to be too long, okay? So that we can have series of them that you guys can follow, okay? So when you open it like this, let's, so let's set up the application, all right? Those of you guys who are used to... Um, a VS code you just select continue let me just enlarge this and then you just go to skip you don't want to import anything from VS code you just go skip again and then let's log in uh, log in so if you've not registered it's going to redirect you to their home page where you can log in where you can register and log in but since I have already signed into the application it's going to just authenticate me and log me in all right so i have been successfully logged in so the application is going to show up okay so i'll be successful logging then i can use the application all right so this is the application we are going to use okay so uh, i'll come i'll come back here and walk you through the interface of the application here all right but before i come back here, let's go and do something inside the exam application then we'll come over here so after you've downloaded and installed this application i said you guys should do exam we need to do one thing inside all right so what we want to do inside is to go to your c drive okay you go to your c drive i go to my pc here and i go inside my c drive over here when you go to your c drive you locate this folder over here exam okay this application will be inside your c drive directory okay double click inside it and then and then you are going to see a lot of folders over here so what we are interested in is to look for this folder over here called 
the AT docs, okay, AT D O C S, the HT docs. This is the application, this is the folder we are interested in. So, double click to open the folder, all right. So, this is where you are going to create our project folder, all right. So, the folder we're going to create over here, all our project files are going to be inside this folder, all right. So, uh, what we wanted to do here is we are going to right click and create a folder over here, and then the folder name. What name do you guys suggest we should use? Right, so let's use um uh, so let's you let's make it church okay do, do i have anything here called church no sorry so let's make it church all right church okay all right so now that we are done creating our folder inside it, we are done with this job okay so the next thing we have to do is go back to our the our ai coding uh, 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 IDE okay the, this one is called AI coding IDE okay uh, so what we have to do here is we are going to load the folder we, we created inside the exam application to here and then we can move on from there so what you have to do is to click open and then you locate your project directory here okay double click inside and then we are you scroll down you come to x amp you go to at docs then you look for church and this is our folder we created so just click inside it load the folder over here right so as i've said earlier on this folder is what we are going to have all our project files store in them all right because our our, our, our application are going to build have a front end and a back end all right so we're going to have this okay here you can see over here that the folder name is showing at the top church you can see here you can see that the directory of the project over here is showing church over here which means that it has been loaded okay so now this is the id that we are going to use so this id have the ai in it all right that we are going to use okay there's an update that you see anytime you download the application anytime there's an update try and update it because they always update it and fix uh, errors and bugs inside the software okay so you try and do so all right so uh, the, f the, f the first thing i'm going to do here this application have the chart and the builder all right we have the chart and the builder all right so we have two mode over here so when you go to the chat you can chat with it you can ask it questions you can you can answer it just like normal chat box like uh chat gpt or gemini or any of them all right and when you come to the builder this is where when you, you, you select it you can build the ai is going to build your applications for you okay all right so the ai agent that we are going to use okay so we have AI agent that we are going to use and then uh, when you come to the down over here all right so this 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 chat box accept images and context okay accept images so when there is a screenshot you want to show it to the ai for it to design something for you you can usually use the, the the image and then the models over here we have a lot of models here we can use okay so all these things as so you guys i click down over here when you come to the down over here when you click inside i'm like, going to see the models over here all right so these ones are the ai coding models that we can use in our development environment all right so we have the claw 3.5 sonnet sonnet okay so this claw 3.5 sonnet is very good for programming and then the advanced version is this one 33.7 and then you have the G gemini 2.5 pro that they are making a lot of noise about to is here and then you have the gemini 2.5 flash you have the chat gpt 4.1 is here 4.0 is here you have the deep seek v3 is here v3 and then they have another v3 here and they have the deep seek reasoner 2 is here all right so all these things are models that we can select them and then it's going to write our code for us all right so um we are going to select so what we are going to use for this tutorial we'll be using between 3.5 and then 3.7 these are the two models we'll be using for our tutorials okay so right now we are almost done with our development environment okay we've set up our development environment and we are ready to start building our application all right so guys since we are done with the development environment i'll end this video over here and in the next video i'm going to continue from there all right i don't want the tutorial to be too long for you guys so in the next video i'm going to continue from 
how you are going to let me not say it you are going to continue from there all right so stay blessed and then make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you've not if you've not done so thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video